Blue, Wikipedia article audio. Blue is one of the three primary colors of pigments in painting and traditional color theory, as well as in the RGB color model. It lies between violet and green on the spectrum of visible light. The eye perceives blue when observing light with a dominant wavelength between approximately 450 and 495 nanometers. Most blues contain a slight mixture of other colors, azure contains some green, while ultramarine contains some violet. The clear daytime sky and the deep sea appear blue because of an optical effect known as Rayleigh scattering. An optical effect called Tyndall scattering explains blue eyes. Distant objects appear more blue because of another optical effect called atmospheric perspective. Blue has been an important color in art and decoration since ancient times. The semi-precious stone lapis lazuli was used in ancient Egypt for jewelry and ornament and later, in the Renaissance, to make the pigment ultramarine the most expensive of all pigments. In the 8th century Chinese artists used cobalt blue to color fine blue and white porcelain. In the Middle Ages, European artists used it in the windows of cathedrals. Europeans wore clothing colored with the vegetable dye woad until it was replaced by the finer indigo from America. In the 19th century, Synthetic blue dyes and pigments gradually replaced mineral pigments and synthetic dyes. Dark blue became a common color for military uniforms and later, in the late 20th century, for business suits. Because blue has commonly been associated with harmony, it was chosen as the color of the flags of the United Nations and the European Union. Shades and Variations Etymology and Linguistic Differences Surveys in the US and Europe show that blue is the color most commonly associated with harmony, faithfulness, confidence, distance, infinity, the imagination, cold, and sometimes with sadness. In US and European public opinion polls it is the most popular color chosen by almost half of both men and women as their favorite color. The same surveys also showed that blue was the color most associated with the masculine, just ahead of black, and was also the color most associated with intelligence, knowledge, calm and concentration. Blue is the color of light between violet and green on the visible spectrum. Hues of blue include indigo and ultramarine, closer to violet, pure blue, without any mixture of other colors, cyan, which is midway in the spectrum between blue and green, and the other blue-greens turquoise, teal, and aquamarine. Blue also varies in shade or tint, darker shades of blue contain black or gray, while lighter tints contain white. Darker shades of blue include ultramarine, cobalt blue, navy blue, and Prussian blue, while lighter tints include sky blue, azure, and Egyptian blue. Blue pigments were originally made from minerals such as lapis lazuli, cobalt, and azurite, and blue dyes were made from plants, usually woad in Europe, and indigo ferritinctur toria or true indigo, in Asia, and Africa. Today most blue pigments and dyes are made by a chemical process. Pure blue, also known as high blue, is not mixed with any other colors. Science and Nature Navy blue, here worn by Admiral Horatio Nelson, is the darkest shade of pure blue. Sky blue or pale azure midway on the RBG color wheel between blue and cyan. Optics Egyptian blue goblet from Mesopotamia, 1500 A Euro 1300 BC. This was the first synthetic blue, first made in about 2500 BC. Extract of natural indigo, 
the most popular blue dye before the invention of synthetic indigo. A block of lapis lazuli, originally used to make ultramarine. Pigments and dyes Ultramarine, slightly violet blue, in a painting by Giovanni Bellini. It was the most expensive pigment of Renaissance. Scientific Natural Standards Cobalt colored the stained glass windows of Saint Chapelle in Paris. Why the sky and sea appear blue? Prussian blue, the color of the uniforms of the Army of Prussia, was invented in about 1706. Vincent van Gogh used the synthetic pigment cobalt blue for the sky of his starry night. Atmospheric Perspective The modern English word blue comes from Middle English blue or blue, from the Old French blue, a word of Germanic origin, related to the Old High German word blau. In heraldry, the word azure is used for blue. In Russian and some other languages, there is no single word for blue, but rather different words for light blue and dark blue. See color term. Several languages, including Japanese, Thai, Korean, and Lakota Sioux, use the same word to describe blue and green. For example, in Vietnamese the color of both tree leaves and the sky is Zan. In Japanese, the word for blue is often used for colors that English speakers would refer to as green, such as the color of a traffic signal meaning go. Human eyes perceive blue when observing light which has a dominant wavelength of roughly 450 a euro 495 nanometers. Blues with a higher frequency and thus a shorter wavelength gradually look more violet, while those with a lower frequency and a longer wavelength gradually appear more green. Pure blue, in the middle, has a wavelength of 470 nanometers. Isaac Newton included blue as one of the seven colors in his first description the visible spectrum, he chose seven colors because that was the number of notes in the musical scale, which he believed was related to the optical spectrum. He included indigo, the hue between blue and violet, as one of the separate colors, though today it is usually considered a hue of blue. Astronomy In painting and traditional color theory, blue is one of the three primary colors of pigments, which can be mixed to form a wide gamut of colors. Red and blue mixed together form violet, blue and yellow together form green. Mixing all three primary colors together produces a dark gray. From the Renaissance onwards, painters used this system to create their colors. Blue Eyes The RYB model was used for color printing by Jacob Christophe L. E. Blon as early as 1725. Later, printers discovered that more accurate colors could be created by using combinations of magenta, cyan, yellow and black ink put onto separate inked plates and then overlaid one at a time onto paper. This method could produce almost all the colors in the spectrum with reasonable accuracy. Azure, a light blue, is the national color of Italy. National sport clubs are known as the Eight Surrey, blue and white are the national colors of Scotland, Argentina, El Salvador, Finland, Greece, Guatemala, Honduras, Israel, Micronesia, Nicaragua, and Somalia, are the ancient national colors of Portugal and are the colors of the United Nations, blue, white, and yellow are the national colors of Bosnia and Herzegovina, Kosovo and Uruguay, blue, white, and green are the national colors of Sierra Leone, blue, white, and black are the national colors. Of Estonia, blue and yellow are the national colors of Barbados, Kazakhstan, Palau, Sweden, and Ukraine, blue, yellow, and green are the national colors of Brazil, Gabon, 
and Rwanda, blue, yellow and red are the national colors of Chad, Colombia, Ecuador, Moldova, Romania, and Venezuela, blue and red are the national colors of Haiti and Liechtenstein, blue, red and white are the national colors of Australia, Cambodia, Costa Rica, Chile, Croatia, Cuba, the Czech Republic, the Dominican Republic, France, Iceland, North Korea, Laos, Liberia, Luxembourg, Nepal, the Netherlands, New Zealand, Norway, Panama, Paraguay, Puerto Rico, Russia, Samoa, Serbia, Slovakia, Slovenia, Thailand, the United Kingdom, and the United States, blue, called St. Patrick's blue, is a traditional color of Ireland, and appears on the arms of Ireland. In the 19th century the Scottish physicist James Clerk Maxwell found a new way of explaining colors, by the wavelength of their light. He showed that white light could be created by combining red, blue, and green light, and that virtually all colors could be made by different combinations of these three colors. His idea, called additive color or the RGB color model, is used today to create colors on televisions and computer screens. The screen is covered by tiny pixels, each with three fluorescent elements for creating red, green, and blue light. If the red, blue, and green elements all glow at once, the pixel looks white. As the screen is scanned from behind with electrons, each pixel creates its own designated color, composing a complete picture on the screen. Additive Color Mixing The projection of primary color lights on a screen shows secondary colors where two overlap. The combination red, green, and blue each in full intensity makes white. Blue and orange pixels on an LCD television screen. Close-up of the red, green, and blue sub-pixels on left. Lasers History In the ancient world In the Byzantine Empire and the Islamic world on the HSV color wheel, the complement of blue is yellow, that is, a color corresponding to an equal mixture of red and green light. On a color wheel based on traditional color theory where blue was considered a primary color, its complementary color is considered to be orange. Blue pigments were made from minerals, especially lapis lazuli and azurite, too, too. These minerals were crushed, ground into powder, and then mixed with a quick drying binding agent, such as egg yolk, or with a slow drying oil, such as linseed oil, for oil painting. To make blue stained glass, cobalt blue aluminate, coal, 2O, 4 pigment was mixed with the glass. Other common blue pigments made from minerals are ultramarine. Cerulean blue stannate, CO, 2 snow, 4, and Prussian blue, 18. Natural dyes to color cloth and tapestries were made from plants. Wode and true indigo were used to produce indigo dye used to color fabrics blue or indigo. Since the 18th century, natural blue dyes have largely been replaced by synthetic dyes. Lapis lazuli, mined in Afghanistan for more than 3,000 years, was used for jewelry and ornaments, and later was crushed and powdered and used as a pigment. The more it was ground, the lighter the blue color became. Azurite, common in Europe and Asia, is produced by the weathering of copper ore deposits. It was crushed and powdered and used as a pigment from ancient times. Natural ultramarine, made by grinding and purifying lapis lazuli, was the finest available blue pigment in the Middle Ages and the Renaissance. 
It was extremely expensive, and in Italian Renaissance art, it was often reserved the robes of the Virgin Mary. Egyptian blue, the first artificial pigment, created in the 3rd millennium BC in ancient Egypt by grinding sand, copper, and natron, and then heating them. It was often used in tomb paintings and funereal objects to protect the dead in their afterlife. During the Middle Ages Ground azurite was often in Renaissance used as a substitute for the much more expensive lapis lazuli. It made a rich blue, but was unstable and could turn dark green over time. Cerulean was created with copper and cobalt oxide, and used to make a sky blue color. Like azurite, it could fade or turn green. Cobalt blue Cobalt has been used for centuries to color glass and ceramics, it was used to make the deep blue stained glass windows of Gothic cathedrals and Chinese porcelain beginning in the Tang dynasty. In 1799 a French chemist, Louis Jacques Tha Copyright Nard, made a synthetic cobalt blue pigment which became immensely popular with painters. In the European Renaissance Blue and White Porcelain War of the Blues A Euro Indigo vs. Woad Indigo dye is made from the woad, Indigo ferra tincture toria, a plant common in Asia and Africa but little known in Europe until the 15th century. Its importation into Europe revolutionized the color of clothing. It also became the color used in blue denim and jeans. Nearly all indigo dye produced today is synthetic. Chemical structure of indigo dye, a widely produced blue dye. Blue genes consist of 1 a euro 3% by weight of this organic compound. Synthetic ultramarine pigment, invented in 1826, has the same chemical composition as natural ultramarine. It is more vivid than natural ultramarine because the particles are smaller and more uniform in size, and thus distribute the light more evenly. A new synthetic blue created in the 1930s is thalocyanine, an intense color widely used for making blue ink, dye, and pigment. Of the colors in the visible spectrum of light, blue has a very short wavelength while red has the longest wavelength. When sunlight passes through the atmosphere, the blue wavelengths are scattered more widely by the oxygen and nitrogen molecules, and more blue comes to our eyes. This effect is called Rayleigh scattering, after Lord Rayleigh, the British physicist who discovered it. It was confirmed by Albert Einstein in 1911. Blue Uniform Near sunrise and sunset, most of the light we see comes in nearly tangent to the Earth's surface, so that the light's path through the atmosphere is so long that much of the blue and even green light is scattered out, leaving the sun rays and the clouds it illuminates red. Therefore, when looking at the sunset and sunrise, the color red is more perceptible than any of the other colors. The sea is seen as blue for largely the same reason, the water absorbs the longer wavelengths of red and reflects and scatters the blue, which comes to the eye of the viewer. The color of the sea is also affected by the color of the sky, reflected by particles in the water, and by algae and plant life in the water, which can make it look green, or by sediment, which can make it look brown. The farther away an object is, the more blue it often appears to the eye. For example, mountains in the distance often appear blue. This is the effect of atmospheric perspective, the farther an object is away from the viewer, the less contrast there is between the object and its background color, which is usually blue. In a painting where different parts of the composition are blue, green, and red, the blue will appear to be more distant, and the red closer to the viewer. 
The cooler a color is, the more distant it seems. Blue light is scattered more than other wavelengths by the gases in the atmosphere, giving the Earth a blue halo when seen from space. An example of aerial, or atmospheric perspective. Objects become more blue and lighter in color the farther they are from the viewer, because of Rayleigh scattering. Under the sea, red and other light with longer wavelengths is absorbed, so white objects appear blue. The deeper you go, the darker the blue becomes. In the open sea, only about 1% of light penetrates to a depth of 200 meters. A Eurocent A blue giant is the largest type of stars. A blue supergiant is even bigger. Blue eyes do not actually contain any blue pigment. Eye color is determined by two factors, the pigmentation of the eye's iris and the scattering of light by the turbid medium in the stroma of the iris. In humans, the pigmentation of the iris varies from light brown to black. The appearance of blue, green, and hazel eyes results from the Rayleigh scattering of light in the stroma, an optical effect similar to what accounts for the blueness of the sky. The irises of the eyes of people with blue eyes contain less dark melanin than those of people with brown eyes, which means that they absorb less short wavelength blue light which is instead reflected out to the viewer. Eye color also varies depending on the lighting conditions, especially for lighter colored eyes. Blue eyes are most common in Ireland, the Baltic Sea area and Northern Europe, and are also found in Eastern, Central and Southern Europe. Blue eyes are also found in parts of Western Asia most notably in Afghanistan, Syria, Iraq, and Iran. In Estonia, 99% of people have blue eyes. In Denmark 30 years ago, only 8% of the population had brown eyes, though through immigration, today that number is about 11%. In Germany, about 75% have blue eyes. In the United States, as of 2006, one out of every six people, or 16.6% of the total population, and 22.3% of the white population, have blue eyes, compared with about half of Americans born in 1900, and a third of Americans born in 1950. Blue eyes are becoming less common among American children. In the U.S., boys are 3 a euro 5% more likely to have blue eyes than girls. Search for the perfect blue. Impressionist painters. Lasers emitting in the blue region of the spectrum became widely available to the public in 2010 with the release of inexpensive high-powered 445 to 447 nm laser diode technology. Previously the blue wavelengths were accessible only through DPSS which are comparatively expensive and inefficient, however these technologies are still widely used by the scientific community for applications including optogenetics, Raman spectroscopy and particle image velocimetry, due to their superior beam quality. Blue gas lasers are also still commonly used for holography, DNA sequencing, optical pumping, and other scientific and medical applications. Blue was a latecomer among colors used in art and decoration, as well as language and literature. Reds, blacks, browns, and ochres are found in cave paintings from the Upper Paleolithic period, but not blue. Blue was also not used for dyeing fabric until long after red, ochre, pink and purple. This is probably due to the perennial difficulty of making good blue dyes and pigments. The earliest known blue dyes were made from plants a euro woad in Europe, indigo in Asia and Africa, while blue pigments were made from minerals, usually either lapis lazuli or azurite. 
blue suit. Lapis lazuli, a semi-precious stone, has been mined in Afghanistan for more than 3,000 years, and was exported to all parts of the ancient world. In Iran and Mesopotamia, it was used to make jewelry and vessels. In Egypt, it was used for the eyebrows on the funeral mask of King Tutankhamun. Importing lapis lazuli by caravan across the desert from Afghanistan to Egypt was very expensive. Beginning in about 2500 BC, the ancient Egyptians began to produce their own blue pigment known as Egyptian blue by grinding silica, lime, copper, and alkali and heating it to 800 or 900 A degrees C. This is considered the first synthetic pigment. Egyptian blue was used to paint wood, papyrus, and canvas, and was used to color a glaze to make faience beads, inlays, and pots. It was particularly used in funeral statuary and figurines and in tomb paintings. Blue was considered a beneficial color which would protect the dead against evil in the afterlife. Blue dye was also used to color the cloth in which mummies were wrapped. In the 20th and 21st century In world culture As a national and international color Politics Religion Gender Music Transportation Associations and sayings Sports The Blues of Antiquity Association Football North American Sporting Leagues In Egypt blue was associated with the sky and with divinity. The Egyptian god Amon could make his skin blue so that he could fly, invisible, across the sky. Blue could also protect against evil, many people around the Mediterranean still wear a blue amulet, representing the eye of God, to protect them from misfortune. Blue glass was manufactured in Mesopotamia and Egypt as early as 2500 BC, using the same copper ingredients as Egyptian blue pigment. They also added cobalt, which produced a deeper blue, the same blue produced in the Middle Ages in the stained glass windows of the cathedrals of St. Denis and Chartres. The Ishtar Gate of ancient Babylon was decorated with deep blue glazed bricks used as a background for pictures of lions, dragons, and aurochs. The ancient Greeks classified colors by whether they were light or dark, rather than by their hue. The Greek word for dark blue, kyanios, could also mean dark green, violet, black or brown. The ancient Greek word for a light blue, glaucos, also could mean light green, grey, or yellow. The Greeks imported indigo dye from India, calling it indican. They used Egyptian blue in the wall paintings of Knossos, in Crete. It was not one of the four primary colors for Greek painting described by Pliny the Elder, but nonetheless it was used as a background color behind the friezes on Greek temples and to color the beards of Greek statues. The Romans also imported indigo dye, but blue was the color of working class clothing, the nobles and rich wore white, black, red or violet. Blue was considered the color of mourning and the color of barbarians. Julius Caesar reported that the Celts and Germans dyed their faces blue to frighten their enemies, and tinted their hair blue when they grew old. Nonetheless, the Romans made extensive use of blue for decoration. According to Vitruvius, they made dark blue pigment from indigo, and imported Egyptian blue pigment. The walls of Roman villas in Pompeii had frescoes of brilliant blue skies, and blue pigments were found in the shops of color merchants. The Romans had many different words for varieties of blue, including Ceruleus, Cesius, Glaucus, Cyanius, Lividus, 
Venetus, Arius, and Ferus, but two words, both of foreign origin, became the most enduring, Blavis, from the Germanic word Blau, which eventually became Blue or Blue, and Azurius, from the Arabic word Laza Ward, which became Azure. Lapis Lazuli Pendant from Mesopotamia A Lapis Lazuli Bowl from Iran A hippo decorated with aquatic plants, made of faience with a blue glaze, made to resemble Lapis Lazuli Egyptian Blue Color in a Tomb Painting Egyptian Faience Bowl A decorated cobalt glass vessel from ancient Egypt Figure of a servant from the tomb of King Seth I. The figure is made of faience with a blue glaze, designed to resemble turquoise. A lion against a blue background from the Ishtar Gate of ancient Babylon. A Roman wall painting of Venus and her son Eros, from Pompeii. Mural in the bedroom of the villa of Phanius Sinister in Bosco Reale in the Metropolitan Museum. A painted pottery pot colored with Han blue from the Han Dynasty in China. A tomb painting from the Eastern Han Dynasty in Henan Province, China. Dark blue was widely used in the decoration of churches in the Byzantine Empire. In Byzantine art Christ and the Virgin Mary usually wore dark blue or purple. Blue was used as a background color representing the sky in the magnificent mosaics which decorated Byzantine churches. In the Islamic world, blue was of secondary importance to green, believed to be the favorite color of the Prophet Muhammad. At certain times in Moorish Spain and other parts of the Islamic world, blue was the color worn by Christians and Jews because only Muslims were allowed to wear white and green. Dark blue and turquoise decorative tiles were widely used to decorate the facades and interiors of mosques and palaces from Spain to Central Asia. Lapis lazuli pigment was also used to create the rich blues in Persian miniatures. Blue Byzantine mosaic ceiling representing the night sky in the mausoleum of Gala Placidia in Ravenna, Italy. Blue mosaic in the cloak of Christ in the Hagia Sophia Church in Istanbul. Glazed stone paste bowl from Persia. Decorated page of a Quran from Persia. Blue tile on the facade of the Friday Mosque in Herat, Afghanistan. Persian miniature from the 16th century. Decoration in the Murat III Hall of the Top Kapi Palace in Istanbul. Flower pattern tile from Iznik, Turkey, from the second half of the 16th century. In the art and life of Europe during the early Middle Ages, blue played a minor role. The nobility wore red or purple, while only the poor wore blue clothing, colored with poor quality dyes made from the woad plant. Blue played no part in the rich costumes of the clergy or the architecture or decoration of churches. This changed dramatically between 1130 and 1140 in Paris, when the Abbé Suger rebuilt the St. Denis Basilica. He installed stained glass windows colored with cobalt, which, combined with the light from the red glass, filled the church with a bluish-violet light. The church became the marvel of the Christian world, and the color became known as the Blue de Saint Denis. In the years that followed even more elegant blue-stained glass windows were installed in other churches, including at Chartres Cathedral and Saint Chapelle in Paris. Another important factor in the increased prestige of the color blue in the 12th century was the veneration of the Virgin Mary, and a change in the colors used to depict her clothing. In earlier centuries her robes had usually been painted in somber black, gray, violet, dark green or dark blue. 
In the 12th century the Roma Catholic Church dictated that painters in Italy to paint the Virgin Mary with the new most expensive pigment imported from Asia, ultramarine. Blue became associated with holiness, humility, and virtue. Ultramarine was made from lapis lazuli, from the mines of bad action, in the mountains of Afghanistan, near the source of the Oxus River. The mines were visited by Marco Polo in about 1271, he reported, here is found a high mountain from which they extract the finest and most beautiful of blues. Ground lapis was used in Byzantine manuscripts as early as the 6th century, but it was impure and varied greatly in color. Ultramarine refined out the impurities through a long and difficult process, creating a rich and deep blue. It was called Blue Outremer in French and Blue Ultramare in Italian, since it came from the other side of the sea. It cost far more than any other color, and it became the luxury color for the kings and princes of Europe. King Louis IX of France, better known as Saint Louis, became the first king of France to regularly dress in blue. This was copied by other nobles. Paintings of the mythical King Arthur began to show him dressed in blue. The coat of arms of the kings of France became an azure or light blue shield, sprinkled with golden fleur de lis or lilies. Blue had come from obscurity to become the royal color. Once blue became the color of the king, it also became the color of the wealthy and powerful in Europe. In the Middle Ages in France and to some extent in Italy, the dyeing of blue cloth was subject to license from the crown or state. In Italy, the dyeing of blue was assigned to a specific guild, the Tintori di Guado, and could not be done by anyone else without severe penalty. The wearing of blue implied some dignity and some wealth. Besides ultramarine, Several other blues were widely used in the Middle Ages and later in the Renaissance. Azurite, a form of copper carbonate, was often used as a substitute for ultramarine. The Romans used it under the name Lapis Armenius, or Armenian stone. The British called it Azure of a Mine, or German Azure. The Germans themselves called it Bergblau, or Mountain Stone. It was mined in France, Hungary, Spain, and Germany, and it made a pale blue with a hint of green, which was ideal for painting skies. It was a favorite background color of the German painter Albrecht de one fourth rare. Another blue often used in the Middle Ages was called tournesol or folium. It was made from the plant Chrysophora tincture toria, which grew in the south of France. It made a fine transparent blue valued in medieval manuscripts. Another common blue pigment was smalt, which was made by grinding blue cobalt glass into a fine powder. It made a deep violet blue similar to ultramarine, and was vivid in frescoes, but it lost some of its brilliance in oil paintings. It became especially popular in the 17th century when ultramarine was difficult to obtain. It was employed at times by Titian, Tintoretto, Veronese, El Greco, Van Dyck, Rubens and Rembrandt. Stained Glass Windows of the Basilica of St. Denis Notre Dame de la Belverieri Window, Chartres Cathedral Detail of the Windows at St. Chapelle the Maista by Duccio showed the Virgin Mary in a robe painted with ultramarine. Blue became the color of holiness, virtue, and humility. In the 12th century blue became part of the royal coat of arms of France. The Wilton diptych, made for King Richard II of England, made lavish use of ultramarine. The coronation of King Louis VIII of France in 1223 showed that blue had become the royal color. In the Renaissance, a revolution occurred in painting, 
artists began to paint the world as it was actually seen, with perspective, depth, shadows, and light from a single source. Artists had to adapt their use of blue to the new rules. In medieval paintings, blue was used to attract the attention of the viewer to the Virgin Mary, and identify her. In Renaissance paintings, artists tried to create harmonies between blue and red, lightening the blue with lead white paint and adding shadows and highlights. Raphael was a master of this technique, carefully balancing the reds and the blues so no one color dominated the picture. Ultramarine was the most prestigious blue of the Renaissance, and patrons sometimes specified that it be used in paintings they commissioned. The contract for the Madonna dei Harpies by Andrea del Sarto required that the robe of the Virgin Mary be colored with ultramarine costing at least five good florins an ounce. Good ultramarine was more expensive than gold, in 1508 the German painter Albrecht de one fourth rare reported in a letter that he had paid 12 ducats a euro the equivalent of 41 grams of gold a euro for just 30 grams of ultramarine. Often painters or clients saved money by using less expensive blues, such as azurite smalt, or pigments made with indigo, but this sometimes caused problems. Pigments made from azurite were less expensive, but tended to turn dark and green with time. An example is the robe of the Virgin Mary in the Madonna enthroned with saints by Raphael in the Metropolitan Museum in New York. The Virgin Mary's azurite blue robe has degraded into a greenish black. The introduction of oil painting changed the way colors looked and how they were used. Ultramarine pigment for instance, was much darker when used in oil painting than when used in tempera painting, in frescoes. To balance their colors, Renaissance artists like Raphael added white to lighten the ultramarine. The somber dark blue robe of the Virgin Mary became a brilliant sky blue. Titian created his rich blues by using many thin glazes of paint of different blues and violets which allowed the light to pass through, which made a complex and luminous color, like stained glass. He also used layers of finely ground or coarsely ground ultramarine, which gave subtle variations to the blue. Giotto was one of the first Italian Renaissance painters to use ultramarine, here in the murals of the Arena Chapel in Padua. Throughout the 14th and 15th centuries, the robes of the Virgin Mary were painted with ultramarine. This is the Virgin of Humility by Fra Angelico. Blue fills the picture. In the Madonna of the Meadow, Raphael used white to soften the ultramarine blue of Virgin Mary's robes to balance the red and blue and to harmonize with the rest of the picture. Titian used an ultramarine sky and robes to give depth and brilliance to his Bacchus and Ariadne. In this painting of the Madonna and Child enthroned with saints an early work by Raphael in the Metropolitan Museum of Art, the blue cloak of the Virgin Mary has turned a green-black. It was painted with less expensive azurite. Glazed Terracotta of the Virgin Adoring the Christ Child, from the workshop of Andrea della Rabia. The Traes Riches Ars du Duc de Berry was the most important illuminated manuscript of the 15th century. The blue was the extravagantly expensive ultramarine. In about the 9th century, Chinese artisans abandoned the Han blue color they had used for centuries and began to use cobalt blue, made with cobalt salts of alumina, to manufacture fine blue and white porcelain, the plates and vases were shaped, dried, the paint applied with a brush, covered with a clear glaze, then fired at a high temperature. Beginning in the 14th century, this type of porcelain was exported in large quantity to Europe where it inspired a whole style of art called Chinoiserie. 
European courts tried for many years to imitate Chinese blue and white porcelain, but only succeeded in the 18th century after a missionary brought the secret back from China. Other famous white and blue patterns appeared in Delft, Meissen, Staffordshire, and St. Petersburg, Russia. Chinese blue and white porcelain from about 1335, made in Jing Dujun, the porcelain center of China. Exported to Europe, this porcelain launched the style of Chinoiserie. A soft paste porcelain vase made in Rouen, France, at the end of the 17th century, imitating Chinese blue and white. 18th century blue and white pottery from Delft, in the Netherlands. Russian porcelain of the cobalt net pattern, made with cobalt blue pigment. The Imperial Porcelain Factory in St. Petersburg was founded in 1744. This pattern, first produced in 1949, was copied after a design made for Catherine the Great. Notes and Citations Bibliography While blue was an expensive and prestigious color in European painting, it became a common color for clothing during the Renaissance. The rise of the color blue in fashion in the 12th and 13th centuries led to a blue dye industry in several cities, notably Amiens, Toulouse, and Erfurt. They made a dye called pastel from woad a plant common in Europe, which had been used to make blue dye by the Celts and German tribes. Blue became a color worn by domestics and artisans, not just nobles. In 1570, when Pope Pius V listed the colors that could be used for ecclesiastical dress and for altar decoration, he excluded blue, because he considered it too common. The process of making blue with woad was long and noxious a euro it involved soaking the leaves of the plant for from three days to a week in human urine, ideally urine from men who had been drinking a great deal of alcohol, which was said to improve the color. The fabric was then soaked for a day in the resulting mixture, then put out in the sun, where as it dried it turned blue. The pastel industry was threatened in the 15th century by the arrival from India of the same dye, obtained from a shrub widely grown in Asia. The Asian indigo dye precursors is more readily obtained. In 1498, Vasco da Gama opened a trade route to import indigo from India to Europe. In India, the indigo leaves were soaked in water, fermented, pressed into cakes, dried into bricks, then carried to the ports London, Marseille, Genoa, and Bruges. Later, in the 17th century, the British, Spanish, and Dutch established indigo plantations in Jamaica, South Carolina, the Virgin Islands and South America, and began to import American indigo to Europe. The countries with large and prosperous pastel industries tried to block the use of indigo. The German government outlawed the use of indigo in 1577, describing it as a pernicious, deceitful, and corrosive substance, the devil's dye. In France, Henry IV, in an edict of 1609, forbade under pain of death the use of the false and pernicious Indian drug. It was forbidden in England until 1611, when British traders established their own indigo industry in India and began to import it into Europe. The efforts to block indigo were in vain, the quality of indigo blue was too high and the price too low for pastel made from woad to compete. In 1737 both the French and German governments finally allowed the use of indigo. This ruined the dye industries in Toulouse and the other cities that produced pastel, but created a thriving new indigo commerce to seaports such as Bordeaux, 
Nantes and Marseille. Another War of the Blues took place at the end of the 19th century, between indigo and synthetic indigo, discovered in 1868 by the German chemist Johann Friedrich Wilhelm Adolf von Bayer. The German chemical firm BASF put the new dye on the market in 1897, in direct competition with the British-run indigo industry in India which produced most of the world's indigo. In 1897 Britain sold 10,000 tons of natural indigo on the world market, while BASF sold 600 tons of synthetic indigo. The British industry cut prices and reduced the salaries of its workers, but it was unable to compete, the synthetic indigo was more pure, made a more lasting blue, and was not dependent upon good or bad harvests. In 1911, India sold only 660 tons of natural indigo, while BASF sold 22,000 tons of synthetic indigo. In 2002, more than 38,000 tons of synthetic indigo was produced, often for the production of blue jeans. Izadi's Tincture Toria or woad, was the main source of blue dye in Europe from ancient times until the arrival of indigo from Asia and America. It was processed into a paste called pastel. A woad mill in Thuringia, in Germany, in 1752. The woad industry was already on its way to extinction, unable to compete with indigo blue. A Dutch tapestry from 1495 to 1505. The blue color comes from woad. Indigo ferritinctur toria, a tropical shrub, is the main source of indigo dye. The chemical composition of indigo dye is the same as that of woad, but the color is more intense. Cakes of indigo. The leaf has been soaked in water, fermented, mixed with lye or another base, then pressed into cakes and dried, ready for export. In the 17th century, Frederick William, Elector of Brandenburg, was one of the first rulers to give his army blue uniforms. The reasons were economic. The German states were trying to protect their pastel dye industry against competition from imported indigo dye. When Brandenburg became the Kingdom of Prussia in 1701, the uniform color was adopted by the Prussian army. Most German soldiers wore dark blue uniforms until the First World War, with the exception of the Bavarians, who wore light blue. Thanks in part to the availability of indigo dye, the 18th century saw the widespread use of blue military uniforms. Prior to 1748, British naval officers simply wore upper-class civilian clothing and wigs. In 1748, the British uniform for naval officers was officially established as an embroidered coat of the color then called marine blue, now known as navy blue. When the Continental Navy of the United States was created in 1775, it largely copied the British uniform and color. In the late 18th century, the blue uniform became a symbol of liberty and revolution. In October 1774, even before the United States declared its independence, George Mason and 100 Virginia neighbors of George Washington organized a voluntary militia unit and elected Washington the honorary commander. For their uniforms they chose blue and buff, the colors of the Whig Party, the opposition party in England whose policies were supported by George Washington and many other patriots in the American colonies. When the Continental Army was established in 1775 at the outbreak of the American Revolution, the First Continental Congress declared that the official uniform color would be brown, 
but this was not popular with many militias, whose officers were already wearing blue. In 1778 the Congress asked George Washington to design a new uniform, and in 1779 Washington made the official color of all uniforms blue and buff. Blue continued to be the color of the field uniform of the U.S. Army until 1902, and is still the color of the dress uniform. In France the Guards Frana Aces, the elite regiment which protected Louis XVI, wore dark blue uniforms with red trim. In 1789, the soldiers gradually changed their allegiance from the king to the people, and they played a leading role in the storming of the Bastille. After the fall of Bastille, a new armed force, the Garde Nationale, was formed under the command of the Marquis de Lafayette, who had served with George Washington in America. Lafayette gave the Garde Nationale dark blue uniforms similar to those of the Continental Army. Blue became the color of the Revolutionary Armies, opposed to the white uniforms of the Royalists and the Austrians. Napoleon Bonaparte abandoned many of the doctrines of the French Revolution but he kept blue as the uniform color for his army, although he had great difficulty obtaining the blue dye since the British controlled the seas and blocked the importation of indigo to France. Napoleon was forced to dye uniforms with woad, which had an inferior blue color. The French army wore a dark blue uniform coat with red trousers until 1915, when it was found to be a too visible target on the battlefields of World War I. It was replaced with uniforms of a light blue-gray color called Horizon Blue. Blue was the color of liberty and revolution in the 18th century, but in the 19th it increasingly became the color of government authority, the uniform color of policemen and other public servants. It was considered serious and authoritative, without being menacing. In 1829, when Robert Peel created the first London Metropolitan Police, he made the color of the uniform jacket a dark, almost black-blue, to make the policemen look different from soldiers, who until then had patrolled the streets. The traditional blue jacket with silver buttons of the London Bobby was not abandoned until the mid-1990s when it was replaced by a light blue shirt and a jumper or sweater of the color officially known as NATO blue. The New York City Police Department, modeled after the London Metropolitan Police, was created in 1844, and in 1853, they were officially given a navy blue uniform, the color they wear today. Navy blue is one of the most popular school uniform colors, with the Toronto Catholic District School Board adopting a dress code policy which requires students system-wide to wear white tops and navy blue bottoms. Elector Frederick William of Brandenburg gave his soldiers blue uniforms. When Brandenburg became the Kingdom of Prussia in 1701, Blue became the uniform color of the Prussian Army. Uniform of a Lieutenant in the Royal Navy Marine blue became the official color of the Royal Navy uniform coat in 1748. George Washington chose blue and buff as the colors of the Continental Army uniform. They were the colors of the English Whig Party, which Washington admired. The Marquis de Lafayette in the uniform of the Garde Nationale during the French Revolution. The cadets of the École Spa Copyrightal Militaire de Saint-Cyr, the French Military Academy, still wear the blue and red uniform of the French Army before 1915. In 1853, New York policemen and firemen were officially outfitted in navy blue uniforms. Metropolitan Police Officers in Soho, London During the 17th and 18th centuries, 
chemists in Europe tried to discover a way to create synthetic blue pigments, avoiding the expense of importing and grinding lapis lazuli, azurite, and other minerals. The Egyptians had created a synthetic color, Egyptian blue, 3000 years BC, but the formula had been lost. The Chinese had also created synthetic pigments, but the formula was not known in the West. In 1709 a German druggist and pigment maker named Johann Jacob Diesbach accidentally discovered a new blue while experimenting with potassium and iron sulfides. The new color was first called Berlin Blue, but later became known as Prussian Blue. By 1710 it was being used by the French painter Antoine Watteau, and later his successor Nicolas Lancret. It became immensely popular for the manufacture of wallpaper, and in the 19th century was widely used by French Impressionist painters. Beginning in the 1820s, Prussian blue was imported into Japan through the port of Nagasaki. It was called Barrow AI, or Berlin Blue, and it became popular because it did not fade like traditional Japanese blue pigment, AI Gami, made from the day flower. Prussian Blue was used by both Hokusai, in his famous wave paintings, and Hiroshigi. In 1824 the Societa Copyright pour l'Encouragement d'Industrie in France offered a prize for the invention of an artificial ultramarine which could rival the natural color made from lapis lazuli. The prize was won in 1826 by a chemist named Jean-Baptiste Guimet, but he refused to reveal the formula of his color. In 1828, another scientist, Christian Gmlin then a professor of chemistry in Ta 1 4th Bingen, found the process and published his formula. This was the beginning of new industry to manufacture artificial ultramarine, which eventually almost completely replaced the natural product. In 1878 a German chemist named A. Von Beyer discovered a synthetic substitute for indigo tine, the active ingredient of indigo. This product gradually replaced natural indigo, and after the end of the First World War, it brought an end to the trade of indigo from the East and West Indies. In 1901 a new synthetic blue dye, called Indenthrone Blue, was invented which had even greater resistance to fading during washing or in the sun. This dye gradually replaced artificial indigo, whose production ceased in about 1970. Today almost all blue clothing is dyed with an Indenthrone blue. The 19th century Japanese woodblock artist Hokusai used Prussian blue, a synthetic color imported from Europe, in his wave paintings such as in the Great Wave off Kanagawa. A synthetic indigo dye factory in Germany in 1890. The manufacture of this dye ended the trade in indigo from America and India that had begun in the 15th century. The invention of new synthetic pigments in the 18th and 19th centuries considerably brightened and expanded the palette of painters. JMW Turner experimented with the new cobalt blue, and of the 20 colors most used by the Impressionists, 12 were new and synthetic colors, including cobalt blue, ultramarine, and cerulean blue. Another important influence on painting in the 19th century was the theory of complementary colors, developed by the French chemist Michel Eugène Chevreul in 1828 and published in 1839. He demonstrated that placing complementary colors, such as blue and yellow-orange or ultramarine and yellow, next to each other heightened the intensity of each color to the apogee of their tonality. In 1879 an American physicist, Ogden Rood, 
published a book charting the complementary colors of each color in the spectrum. This principle of painting was used by Claude Monet in his impression A Euro Sunrise A Euro Fog, where he put a vivid blue next to a bright orange sun, and in R.A. Copyright Gate A Argentei, where he painted an orange sun against blue water. The colors brighten each other. Renoir used the same contrast of cobalt blue water and an orange sun in Canetage sur la Seine. Both Monet and Renoir like to use pure colors, without any blending. Monet and the Impressionists were among the first to observe that shadows were full of color. In his La Guerre Saint Lazare, the grey smoke, vapor, and dark shadows are actually composed of mixtures of bright pigment including cobalt blue, cerulean blue, synthetic ultramarine, emerald green, gillet green, chrome yellow, vermilion and acarlate red. Blue was a favorite color of the Impressionist painters, who used it not just to depict nature but to create moods, feelings, and atmospheres. Cobalt blue, a pigment of cobalt oxide aluminium oxide, was a favorite of Auguste Renoir and Vincent van Gogh. It was similar to smalt, a pigment used for centuries to make blue glass, but it was much improved by the French chemist Louis Jacques Tha Copyright Nard, who introduced it in 1802. It was very stable but extremely expensive. Van Gogh wrote to his brother Theo, Cobalt is a divine color and there is nothing so beautiful for putting atmosphere around things. Van Gogh described to his brother Theo how he composed a sky, the dark blue sky is spotted with clouds of an even darker blue than the fundamental blue of intense cobalt, and others of a lighter blue, like the bluish white of the Milky Way, the sea was very dark ultramarine the shore a sort of violet and of light red as I see it, and on the dunes, a few bushes of Prussian blue. Claude Monet used several recently invented colors in his Guerre Saint Lazare. He used cobalt blue, invented in 1807, cerulean blue invented in 1860, and French ultramarine, first made in 1828. In R.A. Copyright Gate A. Argentati, Monet used two complementary colors together A. Euro Blue and Orange A. Euro to brighten the effect of both colors. The Umbrellas, by Pierre-Auguste Renoir Renoir used cobalt blue for right side of the picture, but used the new synthetic ultramarine introduced in the 1870s when he added two figures to left of the picture a few years later. In Vincent van Gogh's irises, the blue irises are placed against their complementary color, yellow-orange. Van Gogh's starry night over the Rhone. Blue used to create a mood or atmosphere. A cobalt blue sky and cobalt or ultramarine water. Wheatfield under thunderclouds one of the last paintings by Vincent van Gogh. He wrote of cobalt blue, there is nothing so beautiful for putting atmosphere around things. Blue had first become the high fashion color of the wealthy and powerful in Europe in the 13th century, when it was worn by Louis IX of France, better known as Saint Louis. Wearing blue implied dignity and wealth and blue clothing was restricted to the nobility. However, blue was replaced by black as the power color in the 14th century, when European princes, and then merchants and bankers, wanted to show their seriousness, dignity, and devoutness. Blue gradually returned to court fashion in the 17th century, as part of a palette of peacock bright colors shown off in extremely elaborate costumes. The modern blue business suit has its roots in England in the middle of the 17th century. 
Following the London Plague of 1665 and the London Fire of 1666, King Charles II of England ordered that his courtiers wear simple coats, waistcoats, and breeches, and the palette of colours became blue, grey, white and buff. Widely imitated, this style of men's fashion became almost a uniform of the London merchant class and the English country gentlemen. During the American Revolution, the leader of the Whig Party in England, Charles James Fox, wore a blue coat and buff waistcoat and breeches, the colours of the Whig Party and of the uniform of George Washington, whose principles he supported. The men's suit followed the basic form of the military uniforms of the time, particularly the uniforms of the cavalry. In the early 19th century, during the regency of the future King George IV, the blue suit was revolutionized by a courtier named George Beau Brummel. Brummel created a suit that closely fitted the human form. The new style had a long tail coat cut to fit the body and long tight trousers to replace the knee-length breeches and stockings of the previous century. He used plain colors, such as blue and gray, to concentrate attention on the form of the body, not the clothes. Brummel observed, if people turn to look at you in the street, you are not well dressed. This fashion was adopted by the Prince Regent, then by London society and the upper classes. Originally the coat and trousers were different colours, but in the 19th century the suit of a single colour became fashionable. By the late 19th century the black suit had become the uniform of businessmen in England and America. In the 20th century, the black suit was largely replaced by the dark blue or grey suit. King Louis IX of France was the first European king to wear blue. It quickly became the colour of the nobles and wealthy. Joseph Leeson, later first Earl of Milltown, in the typical dress of the English country gentleman in the 1730s. Charles James Fox a leader of the Whig Party in England, wore a blue suit in Parliament in support of George Washington and the American Revolution. Portrait by Joshua Reynolds Beau Brummel introduced the ancestor of the modern blue suit, shaped to the body. Man's Suit, 1826 Dark blue suits were still rare, this one is blue-green or teal. Man's Blue Suit in the 1870s, Paris Painting by Kalebot President John F. Kennedy popularized the blue two-button business suit, less formal than the suits of his predecessors. In the 21st century, the dark blue business suit is the most common style worn by world leaders, seen here at the 2011 G20 Summit in Cannes. France. At the beginning of the 20th century, many artists recognized the emotional power of blue, and made it the central element of paintings. During his blue period Pablo Picasso used blue and green, with hardly any warm colors, to create a melancholy mood. In Russia, the symbolist painter Pavel Kuznetsov and the Blue Rose Art Group used blue to create a fantastic and exotic atmosphere. In Germany, Vasily Kandinsky and other Russian A copyright Migra copyright S formed the art group called Der Blaue Reiter, and used blue to symbolize spirituality and eternity. Henri Matisse used intense blues to express the emotions he wanted viewers to feel. Matisse wrote, A certain blue penetrates your soul. In the art of the second half of the 20th century, painters of the abstract expressionist movement began to use blue and other colors in pure form, without any attempt to represent anything, to inspire ideas and emotions. Painter Mark Rothko observed that color was only an instrument, 
his interest was in expressing human emotions tragedy, ecstasy, doom, and so on. In fashion blue, particularly dark blue, was seen as a color which was serious but not grim. In the mid-twentieth century, blue passed black as the most common color of men's business suits, the costume usually worn by political and business leaders. Public opinion polls in the United States and Europe showed that blue was the favorite color of over 50% of respondents. Green was far behind with 20%, while white and red received about 8% each. In 1873 a German immigrant in San Francisco, Levi Strauss, invented a sturdy kind of work trousers, made of denim fabric and colored with indigo dye, called blue jeans. In 1935, they were raised to the level of high fashion by Vogue magazine. Beginning in the 1950s, they became an essential part of uniform of young people in the United States, Europe, and around the world. Blue was also seen as a color which was authoritative without being threatening. Following the Second World War, blue was adopted as the color of important international organizations, including the United Nations, the Council of Europe, UNESCO, the European Union, and NATO. United Nations peacekeepers wear blue helmets to stress their peacekeeping role. Blue is used by the NATO military symbols for land-based systems to denote friendly forces, hence the term blue on blue for friendly fire, and blue force tracking for location of friendly units. The People's Liberation Army of China uses the term blue army to refer to hostile forces during exercises. The 20th century saw the invention of new ways of creating blue, such as chemiluminescence, making blue light through a chemical reaction. In the 20th century, it also became possible to own your own color of blue. The French artist Yves Klein, with the help of a French paint dealer, created a specific blue called International Klein Blue, which he patented. It was made of ultramarine combined with a resin called Rhodopa, which gave it a particularly brilliant color. The baseball team the Los Angeles Dodgers developed its own blue, called Dodger Blue, and several American universities invented new blues for their colors. With the dawn of the World Wide Web, blue has become the standard color for hyperlinks in graphic browsers, to make their presence within text obvious to readers. During his blue period, Pablo Picasso used blue as the color of melancholy, as in the old guitarist. The Russian avant-garde painter Pavel Kuznetsov and his group, the Blue Rose, used blue to symbolize fantasy and exoticism. This is in the step A Euro Mirage. The Blue Rider, by Vasily Kandinsky, for Kandinsky, blue was the color of spirituality, the darker the blue, the more it awakened human desire for the eternal. The Conversation by Henri Matisse used blue to express the emotions he wanted the viewer to feel. Blue jeans, made of denim colored with indigo dye, patented by Levi Strauss in 1873, became an essential part of the wardrobe of young people beginning in the 1950s. Blue is the color of United Nations peacekeepers, known as blue helmets. Vivid blues can be created by chemical reactions, called chemiluminescence. This is luminol, a chemical used in crime scene investigations. Luminol glows blue when it contacts even a tiny trace of blood. Blue neon lighting, first used in commercial advertising, is now used in works of art. This is Zweip Fared Fa 1 4th Arma 1 4th Enster, a neon sculpture by Stefan Huber, in Munster, Germany. The Story Bridge in Brisbane, 
Australia illuminated in blue light for ovarian cancer awareness. A man of the Tuareg people of North Africa wears a tajal must or turban dyed with indigo. The indigo stains their skin blue, they were known by early visitors as the blue men of the desert. Various shades of blue are used as the national colors for many nations. An illustration by William Hogarth from 1854 shows a polling station with the blue flag of the Tory party and the orange flag of the Whigs. The blue necktie of British Prime Minister David Cameron represents his Conservative Party. A map of the US showing the blue states, which voted for the Democratic candidate in all the last four presidential elections, and the red states, which voted for the Republican. Blue Stripes on a Traditional Jewish Talith The blue stripes are also featured in the flag of Israel. Vishnu, the supreme god of Hinduism, is often portrayed as being blue, or more precisely having skin the color of rain-filled clouds. In Catholicism, Blue became the traditional color of the robes of the Virgin Mary in the 13th century. The Bezich Yaguru, or medicine master of lapis lazuli light, is the Buddha of healing and medicine in Mahayana Buddhism. He traditionally holds a lapis lazuli jar of medicine. In the Islamic world, blue and turquoise tile traditionally decorates the facades and exteriors of mosques and other religious buildings. This mosque is in Isfahan, Iran. Blue was first used as a gender signifier just prior to World War I, and first established as a male gender signifier in the 1940s. Madame Pompadour the mistress of King Louis XV of France, wore blue myosotis, or forget-me-not flowers in her hair and on her gowns as a symbol of faithfulness to the king. Many sporting teams make blue their official color, or use it as detail on kit of a different color. In addition, the color is present on the logos of many sports associations. Along with red, Blue is the most commonly used non-white colors for teams. In International Association football, blue is a common color on kits, as a majority of nations wear the colors of their national flag. A notable exception is four-time FIFA World Cup winners Italy, who wear a blue kit based on the Azzurro Savoia of the Royal House of Savoy which unified the Italian states. The team themselves are known as Gliate Surrey. Another World Cup winning nation with a blue shirt is France, who are known as Les Blues. Two neighboring countries with two World Cup victories each, Argentina and Uruguay wear a light blue shirt, the former with white stripes. Uruguay are known as the La Celeste, Spanish for the sky blue one, while Argentina are known as Los Albicelestes, Spanish for the sky blue and whites. Blue features on the logo of football's governing body FIFA, as well as featuring highly in the design of their website. The European governing body of football, UEFA, uses two tones of blue to create a map of Europe in the center of their logo. The Asian Football Confederation, Oceania Football Confederation and CONCACAF use blue text on their logos. In Major League Baseball, the premier baseball league in the United States and Canada, blue is one of the three colors, along with white and red, on the league's official logo. A team from Toronto, Ontario are nicknamed the Blue Jays. Seventeen other teams either regularly feature blue hats or utilize the color in their uniforms. The National Basketball Association, the premier basketball league in the United States and Canada, also has blue as one of the colors on their logo, along with red and white also, as did its female equivalent, the WNBA, until March 28.
2011, when the latter adopted an orange and white logo. Former NBA player Theodore Edwards was nicknamed Blue. Fifteen NBA teams feature the color in their uniforms. The National Football League, the premier American football league in the United States, also uses blue as one of three colors, along with white and red, on their official logo. Thirteen NFL teams prominently feature the color. The National Hockey League, the premier ice hockey league in Canada and the United States, uses blue on its official logo. Blue is the main color of many teams in the league, the Buffalo Sabres, Columbus Blue Jackets, Edmonton Oilers, New York Icelanders, New York Rangers, St. Louis Blues, Toronto Maple Leafs, Tampa Bay Lightning, Vancouver Canucks and the Winnipeg Jets. The Italian national football team wear blue in honor of the Royal House of Savoy which unified the country.